Hi, Bell City, coming at you from a different part of my house today because I want to show you how you can utilize some other things in your house um, if you don't have certain objects that you're used to using at the gym. So your question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite TV comedy series, present or past? Your warm-up is going to be a five-minute AMRAP. You're going to have 30 single-unders or jumping jacks, 20 shoulder taps, and 10 tuck-ups. So, as we know, for those single unders, the jump rope goes under our feet once. If we are doing jumping jacks, arms and legs come out at the same time. And that's for your 30. That's 30 single unders or 30 jumping jacks. Then you have 20 shoulder taps. So we're going to make sure that we come down to the ground in that tall plank. Give ourselves a nice base, nice and tight, flat back, and tap those shoulders. We're going to make sure that we're not... Swinging our hips back and forth. You want to stay nice and tight in the core and Not much movement in the hips mostly those arms And you have 20 of those alternating so 10 on each side and then we have 10 tuck-ups So we're gonna be on the ground put that back flat into the ground and we're gonna tuck up Tuck those legs up bring those arms forward so 10 of those. That is for your five minute warm up for your AMRAP. Then next we have our body weight pump. This is gonna be 12 minutes. In our body weight pump, you're gonna do four sets. It's gonna be a minute of side plank rotation. So you're gonna do 30 seconds on each side and then a minute of glute bridges with or without weight. That is your choice. And then you get a minute rest and then we go back to the top and do a minute of the side plank rotations, 30 seconds each side and a minute of the glute bridges. So the side plank rotations look like this. Coming down to the floor again on that one side. Pop those hips up and we're gonna rotate through, reach to the sky, rotate through, reach to the sky and that for 30 seconds then we'll switch over and do 30 seconds on the other side. If you need to modify this, Put the leg that's closest to the ground down and still put that top leg up and pop those hips up and you can still do those side plank rotations slightly modified. So you do that for a minute, 30 seconds on each side and then we have a minute of glute bridges. So feel free to get a weight for this if you'd like. I'm going to plant those feet and you're going to pop those hips up. If you want to do weight, yes, I'm going to use my dish soap. And you can hold it right there on your hips for some weight. Or a dumbbell, kettlebell, just be careful putting it up that way. After that, we have our full body sweat workout. This is going to be 21 minutes long. You are going to do every minute on the minute. One minute is going to be, the first minute is max step ups or forward lunges, your choice. Your minute two is going to be max sit-ups. And then minute three is going to be max single-unders or double-unders. You may also modify those single-unders or double-unders to mountain climbers, cross-body mountain climbers, or tuck jumps. Depending on your living situation and all that stuff in your equipment that you have, those might be a good substitution for those single or double-unders. You also have the choice to perform your sit-ups or lunges or um, with or without weight. So any of those movements, your sit-ups, your lunges, you can do, and your step-ups, you can do them with weight or without. It is your choice. So for that minute one, we have max step-ups or forward lunges. So with those max step-ups, this is why I'm in the corner of this house, you can use a staircase. If you want to step up to a step, step up, still open those hips. Just remember to alternate those legs, okay? So that's for your step ups. You can skip a step, just be careful coming down if you want something a little bit higher. Um, you can do those forward lunges instead of step ups if you don't have something to step up to. So pushing out of that front foot and alternating those legs, pushing out of that front foot, that front heel for those step ups or those forward lunges. Again, those can be done with or without weight. Then you have your max sit ups. As we know, our points of performance are our shoulder blades must touch the ground, come in and touch in front of our toes so that our shoulders pass our hip crease. So we're gonna come back, shoulder blades on the ground, come forward, touch in front of our toes so my shoulder passes. If you wanna use weight, use my 
you can come back, shoulder blades come up, you can reach forward. If it's not too bad of weight, like a wall ball, you can tap in front. Any of that works too if you want to do weighted sit-ups. And that's for the second minute. Then the third minute, your max single unders or double unders. So with your rope, one time through your feet is that single, twice under your feet is that double under, or you can do the crossbody mountain climbers or tuck jumps. So crossbody mountain climbers, I'm gonna come to that tall plank again. Instead of coming to the same elbow like we normally do with the mountain climbers, it's gonna be opposite elbows. So opposite crossbody. Or we can just do those tuck jumps. So you don't have to come into a full squat, it's just bringing those feet up, tucking into that tuck jump. That is your 21 minute EMOM for your full body sweat workout. Next, you'll have your little finisher to finish off with. And it's not for time. You can do this however you want. Split the movements up however you want. The finisher is 40 floor press, 40 tricep extensions, 40 hollow rocks, and 40 curls. So, to do this, you are going to split it up how you want. You could do 10, 10, 10, 10. You could do all 40 if you want. All of the, That's fine. All that works. So, for your floor press, you're gonna come down to the floor, back flat on the ground, and we're going to press those dumbbells, objects. If you only have one, like I have this, press. So that's for my floor press, okay? Then we have the tricep extension, so you can take your object, put it behind your head, and we're gonna extend. For that. And then, your hollow rocks and curls. So for your hollow rocks, you get that back flat into the ground. Point those toes, arms up overhead, shoulder blades off, we're gonna rock, pop that butt up. Do those hollow rocks. Then for our curls, back up, and then we curl. Whatever object weight we have. And that is 40, 40, 40, 40 of each movement, broken up however you please, in any order, how many reps or, or sets you wanna do. So you can perform each movement with a single dumbbell or a kettlebell to get those done. Lastly, this is a do-it-yourself. You can go on, there will be a link uh, on where the uh, workouts are posted in Zen Planner and on the website. And it's a little mobility cash out, a do-it-yourself. So feel free to do that. It's about five minutes and it will definitely help you guys out. Have a good day, guys. Nice to see you. Bye.